everybody, hello, hello, hello everybody, if you're just listening to me, I'm just going to say nothing. I'm just going to say nothing. I'm just going to say nothing to my, uh, to my, uh, my audio. That's all, I'm going to say nothing. Uh, so, yeah, this is, being re uh, this is a new recording about Remembrance Day. For all you veterans out there, Remembrance Day this coming November 11th, at the 11th hour, you know the deal. Uh, 11th hour, 11th day, 11th hour, for one minute. Yes, one minute. We, uh, we bow our heads for whatever minutes you want. Uh, for the veterans and uh, World War III, if there's a World War III, uh, we don't know. Um, past and present uh, veterans and uh, whatever war your dad was in. Uh, this coming November 11th would be a long time coming for all the veterans out there, all the veterans, past and present. And we say our five minutes of silence, five minutes of silence, to pay homage for Remembrance Day. Now a lot of people don't know about Remembrance Day. Uh, I'll give you a brief history of Remembrance Day. A brief history, if you want a brief history, it's a history lesson, if you want to know. Uh, now if you're talking about music, in the music industry, you know who did Remembrance Day? Guess. I'll give you a clue. He was a Canadian. He was a Canadian singer. That's what I'll give you a clue of. Guess who? Guess who did the Remembrance Day song? That it did it so beautifully. Basically, who did it beautifully? Brian Adams. That's right. The singer Brian Adams from 1985 from the Records album, not that album, but the set of the other album after that. Into the Fire album. People pan that album. I'm not going to mention the reviews over it. Um, but there was, it was dismal at best. But that one song on that album, Into the Fire, uh, there was a song called Remembered Stay. Now you've heard about it. Uh, it's, it's on, the, it's on uh, the song list. Somewhere in the song list is a Remembered Stay song. It's in either the first side or the second side of the album. Uh, there's a song called Remembrance Day. I think Brian Adams did the best version he ever did to that one. Up to that point. 1987, Into the Fire album. That, that was, I, that was, I think that was a third album, third album of Brian Adams' music career. And he did Remembrance Day for the veterans out there. Veterans, I kid you not. It, it was great, it was a good song, it was a good song. It set the tone what veterans did out there uh, in the battlefield. Boots on the ground. As people like to say, it's boots on the ground. You know, boots on the ground. You hear radio station people even get uh, info wars, like uh, Alex Jones and uh, those guys saying it. So it's always boots on the ground. Remember, if you're fighting a war, boots on the ground, right? The whole scenario about that. Yeah. So bear that in mind, this first song in history was done by Brian Adams, I kid you not, on the album called Into the Fire. Third album that Brian Adams, why am I telling you this folks? Because it, uh, it reminds everybody who was in the war about a song called Remembrance Day, the same day as it falls on the same day. Can you believe a Canadian singer sing this song? It was a beautiful song. It basically set the tone what uh, veterans were going through, and uh, it was it was good. Uh, you should listen to the song on the album of Brian Adams. Go check out the Brian Adams album called "Into the Fire" album. It's in one of the in the list of songs, and uh, <clears throat> that was 1987, sometime around 87 to 86, uh, that he did the album, somewhere around there. And uh, Remember Day is coming up. And uh, past and present, if your father's been in war, uh, your family member has been in war, if they've been in wars now or in the past, uh, pay homage to these veterans out there. Just, uh, we, we salute them. We really do. We salute them. And we do, we do. And I'm going to send a message to all you veterans out there, past and present. And uh, who fought the good war? I'm here, and uh, I would say for that, 
Uh, it's Happy Remembrance Day. If your Remembrance Day was good, don't forget to wear a poppy. Just a little red thing. Poppy. And to, yeah, people are going to put their message out there on YouTube. I'm going to do mine first. So, Brian Adams did a song called Remembrance Day. It was from, it was on the Into the Fire album. How I know this, because I checked the album songs on it. And, uh, yeah, so Into the Fire album, go check it out. It's a, I think it's the third album that Brian Adams did. And, this, and I think it was right after the Reckless album. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, folks, a little known history. And Remembrance Day is a lot of other things. It's Kids like to sing a lot of stuff. But it's, Remembrance Day is dedicated for all the veterans out there, all past and present, who are still living today or not living today, um, who fought the good wars. And no more wars in this world anymore. Who's going to do it? Uh, who's going to fight the war is uh, the guy in Chinese. What's his name? Um... Uh, He's going to do a war. He's going to do nukes. Now, they're going to say it on a C-SPAN about nukes. Uh, these so-called nukes that everybody likes to talk about. Uh, now, we don't know what's going to happen or not. We don't know. He wants to fight the good war. Americans don't want to have a war, like I've been saying in previous videos. Uh, nobody wants a war. Americans don't want a war as of now or ever in the future. And... Uh, so yeah, so it's just the Chinese, they want a war. They have big, big, you know, nuclear wars. And uh, yeah, folks, and we're talking about nuclear wars. Can you believe it's a future, it's a future thing? Yeah, nuclear wars. It can be big, big war missiles, as they like to say. People like to talk about these sort of things in, uh, in a kind of context. So yeah. So, like I said, folks, Putin, or any of these people far away, not from the States or Canada, they want to do wars. We don't want wars. The Canadians don't want wars. The Americans don't want wars. They don't want wars. That's true with wars. They really are. Uh, I can uh, tell you from the experiences, from watching the news, to uh, from CNN, Fox News, to uh, people I've uh, I listened to a very contently past 30 years uh, close enough to really get an idea what kind of wars they're talking about out there and uh, they have their own opinion they do have their own opinion but my opinion is they're not gonna have wars it's just the Chinese people want wars with Americans and Putin wants to have a, like in Germany so there you go folks so there you go I'm gonna say happy uh, well I'm not sure if it's happy but uh, remember to stay, don't forget at the 11th, this is in the morning, folks. This is not in the afternoon. This is in the morning, 11th hour. So get up at 10.30 in the morning. Do that saloon for five seconds, where have you. And uh, pay homage to the war veterans. Doesn't matter if your dad's in war. Doesn't matter if your son's in war still to this day. Uh, if your daughter's in war or uh, army, you can go work in the army. They hired people in the armies, you know. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm giving, I, I, I'm putting feet to the fire, or it's like, um, in these analogies that people give me, um, this feet to the fire, and, uh, it's a, like a candlelight kind of thing. So, folks, Remembrance Day is coming up this, this week, I think, this week, this coming week. Uh, just do a little prayer. If you don't get up at 11 o'clock, try and do it sometime in the day. And uh, that's all I have to say. This is a message for you veterans out there on YouTube. I'll be the first to mention this Remembrance Day. And I'll put a hashtag, whatever I have to do to, to really boast this thing. And uh, I'll do the Remembrance Day. This is my message to all, everybody out there, no matter if they're in wars or not in wars or Americans don't want wars. Remember what I've been saying. Americans don't want wars. Canadians don't want wars. They're all through with wars. Uh, would it be a World War III, you say? No. It's not World War III. Uh, nukes? Maybe. 
if the Chinese had their way or the Germany would have their way. Uh, it'd be a big nips, we would have to go under bunkers. We would have to go in bunkers. Not our houses or buildings. We would go in bunkers. Bunkers, right? <laughs> go bunkers with bonkers, right? So, yeah, there is places in the uh, United States uh, they're hidden from public. They're bunkers. And the plain view. They're away from plain view. So there you go, folks. Um, what else do I have to say? Just remember, remember today is coming up. Where you poppy, there'll be commercial ads out there on, on TV stations and your radio stations, your uh, sports events. They're going to mention about the Remembrance Day. So I'm going to mention it as well. I'll be the first person right out there on YouTube uh, to mention it. Uh, I want to be out. I, I want to really clear the air about Remembrance Day. And yeah, happy Remembrance Day to everybody out there who's fighting good war now or will be in the future. Or, the, uh, or your dad was in a war, whatever story you have out there, I'll listen to them. I'll really listen to them and get their thoughts and I'll put them to my YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what war you're in, uh, the Korean War, whatever war you have you. Uh, I don't know, this may work. Like I said, I don't want wars. I'm still in my 40s, still in my 40s. And uh, yeah. But anyway, I want to say ciao for now. Happy Remembrance Day. Uh, Remembrance Day 11th. That's it. Second video, folks.